Let's talk about the progression of cognitive decline, because before you reach full-blown Alzheimer's, you'll progress through several stages. I think this is a real important consideration simply because in most instances, short of some sort of traumatic event that completely changes your life overnight, there are obvious physical stages of decline that you have to pass through, unlike something like cardiovascular disease that could drop you in an instant and have no warning signs. With that being said, I think that can either make things easier or harder to manage depending on the outlook in which you choose to partake. Let me explain. There are three stages that you will have to pass through, which I think are fairly obvious, but just to make sure that we're all on the same page. First up, you have subjective cognitive decline, meaning that you, as the person struggling, know that your brain is not operating as well as it should, but others don't necessarily notice. It doesn't keep you from performing any of your daily activities, but you notice that you're having to expel a little bit more energy to complete what you used to deem a relatively simple task. This could range from little things like forgetting whether you've already put shampoo in your hair mid shower, leading to an impromptu double lather, all the way up to taking a week just to respond to your emails because the, in the mental energy required to type up a response is too much. This would be the stage in which we want to intervene in because it allows for the most amount of progress to be had. Once you've passed through subjective cognitive decline, you move into the second stage of cognitive impairment, which would be mild cognitive impairment. And this is when things have gotten just a little bit worse. Your friends and family are now starting to notice that you just aren't as sharp as you once were. This stage of the game can often be overlooked because most people will just attribute this to the natural course of aging. And I think that this should be looked at as true to an extent. Our brains are naturally degenerating year after year, but if we take the right precautions or even intervene with the necessary steps during, let's say, the first stage of cognitive decline, it is well within the realm of possibility to be able to kick this can a little bit further down the road. It may not be forever, but depending on the work that you're willing to put in will in large part dictate how far down the road that you can kick that can. Once you've been diagnosed with mild cognitive impairment and for whatever reason you didn't take the necessary steps to put this car in reverse or maybe not even reverse, but just park it for a little while and things have continued to progress, this is where actual dementia comes into play. Dementia is simply when cognitive decline has progressed to the point in which it impairs your ability to perform activities of daily living. And truthfully, there's only so much reversal that can be done once you've reached this stage. So I encourage you to take control of the overall health of your brain and let's not allow things to progress this far. And if you don't have that luxury, as in you're already here, well, now it's game time. You're racing against the clock. Lucky for you, you don't have to go through this journey alone. And I've tried my best to lay out an entire roadmap for you. I recently put out a course entitled Reversing Cognitive Decline, where I discuss all the things that contribute to cognitive decline and ultimately supply you with a step-by-step -step process to improve the overall quality of your brain. If you're interested in checking out that course, head on over to the description of this video where you'll find the link that will direct you to our website. I hope you like it.